Have you ever wondered why you sometimes get a fever after a bad cold or flu? The short answer is that your white blood cells are in overdrive. The main function of white blood cells is to protect the body from disease and infection. When you develop a fever, this is a sign that your white blood cells are fighting infectious microbes. White blood cells protect the body from infections and produce antibodies that work to eliminate infectious agents and cancer cells. If your white blood cell count is very low or low for an extended period of time, this could be a sign of a more serious issue such as alcohol abuse, autoimmune disorders, cancer, congenital disorders, medications such as antibiotics, nutrition deficiencies, radiation therapy, severe infection, viral infections. There are three common warning signs that indicate a low white blood cell count. These are chills, a high fever, profuse sweating. While it's important to look out for signs of a low white blood cell count, it doesn't always mean there's a serious issue. If your white blood cell count is not critically low, there are plenty of natural remedies that can help you to increase it. Eat more vitamin C. Consuming vitamin C helps regulate the levels of white blood cells in the body. Vitamin C boosts immune function by fighting infection and protecting white blood cells from harmful molecules like free radicals. There are plenty of natural sources of vitamin C available. Citrus fruits such as lemons, oranges, and limes are packed with vitamin C and other fruits like berries, cantaloupe, grapefruit, guavas, kiwi fruit, papayas, and pineapples are also rich in vitamin C. Raw fruits offer the highest levels of vitamin C. Vegetables are another great source of vitamin C. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, red and green bell peppers, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, tomatoes, potatoes, and spinach all contain high levels of immune-boosting vitamin C. Up your intake of antioxidants. A diet rich in antioxidants is a healthy one. Antioxidants are chemicals found in the body that counteract the harmful effects caused by free radicals. Free radicals cause damage to cells, DNA, and protein in the body, but antioxidants can neutralize the harm caused. Up your intake of antioxidants by eating more of the following. Fresh fruit. Most fruits are packed full of antioxidants and vitamins, including apricots, berries, cantaloupe, cherries, and figs. Although fruit is a powerful antioxidant, always make sure you wash fruits before eating them to get rid of any bacteria or other harmful substances. Dried fruit. Dried fruit actually contains a higher number of antioxidants than fresh fruit. However, it's best to avoid dried fruits that contain processed sugars. Look out for packets of dried apples, dates, figs, plums, and raisins to keep on hand. Vegetables. Vegetables are a fantastic source of antioxidants. In particular, try to incorporate plenty of the following vegetables into your diet. Artichokes, asparagus, avocados, beetroot, broccoli, this is especially good, carrots, dark leafy greens, garlic, lettuce, pumpkin, and onion. Spices and herbs. Eating a diet rich in antioxidants doesn't have to be dull. Lots of spices and herbs are loaded with antioxidants. Try adding a dash of these herbs and spices to your meals for a powerful punch of antioxidants. Basil, cardamom, chili powder, cinnamon, coriander, cumin, ginger, turmeric, paprika, pepper, sage, and oregano. Cereals and nuts. Cereals and nuts are both good sources of antioxidants. Fortified cereals, oatmeal, granola bars, nuts, and nut spreads such as peanut butter all contain immune-boosting properties when eaten as part of a balanced diet. Beverages You can increase your antioxidant intake by choosing the right beverage. Apple juice, black tea, beer and cider, grapefruit juice, red wine, green tea, and tomato juice have high levels of white blood cell boosting antioxidants. When it comes to coffee and alcohol, remember the golden rule. Everything in moderation. Adding milk to tea or coffee blocks the effectiveness of the antioxidants, so you may want to switch to black tea or coffee to get the full health benefits. Adding a wide variety of colorful fruits and vegetables, especially orange, yellow, or red foods and citrus fruits to your diet, will provide your body with antioxidants that support a healthy immune system. Get enough omega-3 fatty acids. Healthy fats are a key ingredient in a balanced diet. Essential fatty acids not only improve cardiovascular health,
but elevate immune activity. Since the body isn't able to make essential fatty acids, adding a diet rich in polyunsaturated fat is necessary. Regularly eat food rich in omega-3 fatty acids, including cold water fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, sardines, herring, and trout. Nuts and seeds, such as chia seeds, hemp seeds, flax seed, and walnuts. Plant oils like flax oil, soybean oil, and canola oil. Some fortified foods, such as dairy products, juices, soy drinks, and infant formulas. Taking a daily supplement of omega-3 can ensure you get the right amount in your diet. Speak to your doctor about incorporating a supplement of 1,000 milligrams of omega-3 into your daily regime. Eat a diet rich in zinc. Zinc restores white blood cells, helping them to function normally. This boosts immunity and increases a low white blood count. Consume foods with high quantities of zinc, such as beans, oysters, nuts, and red meat. If you still aren't getting your daily requirement of zinc, speak to a medical professional about taking a daily supplement of 8 to 11 milligrams of zinc. Incorporate foods high in selenium. Selenium positively impacts the production of white blood cells in the body. This keeps your immune system strong and helps ward off colds, flus, and other infections. Foods that are high in selenium include chicken, turkey, sardines, and tuna. Have a daily bowl of probiotic yogurt. Foods that are rich in probiotics can balance the pH in the stomach, aiding digestion and keeping the immune system strong. Foods high in probiotics, such as yogurt, contain live and active cultures that promote gut health and positively affect the regulation of white blood cells. Go for plain yogurt that's low in sugar for best results. If you don't like yogurt, alternatives like kimchi and kefa are also healthy, probiotic-rich foods that can be picked up at the grocery store. So what foods should you avoid? Certain foods cause inflammation in the body, therefore reducing white blood cell count. Avoid foods high in fat, salt, and sugar as these could affect the production of white blood cells in the body. Processed and canned foods often contain high levels of sodium, increasing inflammation and putting extra pressure on the immune system. Here are some other ways to increase white blood cell count naturally. 1. Lavender Essential Oil Lavender oil is a popular natural remedy to reduce stress and promote sleep. Lavender oil also boosts your white blood cell count, enhancing your overall immune system function. If you don't have lavender oil on hand, other essential oils such as tea tree oil, cypress oil, and sweet almond oil also improve the body's production of white blood cells. To get the benefits, simply mix your essential oil of choice with a carrier oil such as jojoba oil and massage it into the body. 2. Papaya Leaves Papaya leaves contain a compound that increases white blood cell count and helps the body to fight infection by strengthening the immune system. To make your own papaya leaf juice, wash and blend papaya leaves with a small amount of water, then strain the mixture and drink one tablespoon of the juice. If the juice is too bitter, add a natural sweetener such as honey or agave. 3. Supplementary Vitamins If you have a low white blood cell count, adding some oral supplementation could help. Speak to your doctor about taking a vitamin supplement. In particular, vitamins A, C, E, and B9 play a significant role in increasing white blood cell count. Both vitamin A and vitamin E are fat-soluble vitamins, meaning they're absorbed into the bloodstream much better when eaten with foods containing healthy fats. 4. Drink more water. Drinking water keeps your body hydrated and flushes out harmful toxins. This promotes a healthy immune system, regulating white blood cell production. 5. Sleep more. A lack of sleep and high stress levels can both negatively impact your body's production of white blood cells, Getting plenty of rest and managing stress plays a major role in naturally increasing white blood cells. 6. Lose excess weight. Being overweight can cause a wide range of health concerns such as high blood pressure, heart disease, and diabetes. To keep the body functioning properly, lose a few pounds, if you're overweight, by cutting down on unhealthy foods and increasing your intake of immune-boosting foods. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on how to increase platelet count in blood naturally. Thanks for watching and bye for now.